Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. Today's video is about showing up as your best and what that means. Let's dive in. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. I'm glad you're here. Today's video is mentioned in the introduction is about showing up as your best. And what exactly does that mean? So there's a few things that come to mind and why I want to talk about this topic today. Showing up as your best. Well, we'll start with the outside physical appearance first. I've been watching a lot of Kevin Samuels lately. And if you're not familiar with that, I recommend you go on YouTube and watch some Kevin Samuels. He's amazing, especially if you're a man. And unfortunately, he passed away this year, 2022, rest in peace. Uh, amazing man. And he was a professional image consultant who would work with men and women, but mostly men, on perfecting and uh, helping their image as it pertains to networking, professional contacts, and whatnot. And so that's where really the genesis of this video comes from. Now, I'm going to put a little bit of spin on it because he's focusing on external and internal. I'm doing the same, but I want to bring more of the internal context to it. But let's start with the physical. What does it mean, first of all, to show up as your best? And why is it important? It's important to show up as your best because you really never know who you're going to meet or what opportunities are going to show up as a result of you catching somebody's eye or them noticing you or sparking a conversation because you look like an interesting person or because you present well. Because the reality is we do live in a society where your looks and appearance are judged. If you don't believe me, walk down the street. I live in San Diego and I used to live in LA. There's tons of homeless people. If a homeless person comes up to you and asks you for money and they smell and they're kind of like scary and you're intimidated, you're like, shit, dude, get away from me, right? But if somebody who says, you know, this is like a woman, right, who's not super bummy, but you could tell she's of a low socioeconomic status, maybe she's got a kid or two with her, and she's like, I need some money to feed my kids, she shows up differently, you wouldn't be intimidated, right? So that's an extreme example. Now look on the opposite end. Kevin Samuels talks about soup Saturdays, in which he would just go out in a suit on Saturday for no reason, you know, he's, I mean, he's a, was a corporate guy and image consultant anyways, but he would just put on a suit just, just to put on that swag, just to put on some swag and go out into the world and, you know, see who he's going to meet and how people respond. And he would always say that people treated him much differently just because he was wearing a suit thinking, you know, are you someone famous? Are you someone important? Should I be talking to you? Like what's going on? Who is this guy? It's the same thing. Cause again, we are wired to judge people on outside appearance, even though we may not like it. And of course, your personality, your ability to connect and create connections, uh, your ability to be humble and communicate clearly, having a good personality, engaging sense of humor, all these things, they definitely matter. They definitely do. And they, they really do matter than almost more than the initial, uh, I guess, um, interaction that you have with someone. But we all look at people and see them right away and say, oh, okay, blah, 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 you know, and make our assumption about the, that person. So what it means on an external level to show up as your best is first of all, you know, as a fitness coach, of course, I'm always going to talk about this first. What does your body look like? You will automatically think more highly of somebody who is in shape than is not. If you take two men who are in suits and one is way overweight and the other is not, and they're equally uh, on equal levels of skill and knowledge for a position, you're probably going to take the guy who's in shape. And the reason why is because that's a representation, who you are, who you show up as, your physical body and how you take care of it. It is a physical representation of how you take care of yourself and what you actually think of yourself. It's how you show up. And somebody that's in, that's fit and in shape and wears you know clothes that are nice and complement their body, you automatically know this is somebody who cares about their appearance. They take the time and attention to detail because they care about themselves enough to show up in a way that is presentable to other people. And when you do that, 
and you're reflecting that to the outer world, you know that they're gonna show up for the position or the job or whatever you need. Now, of course, it's not always gonna be the case, but you get what I'm saying. <clears throat> now, the other part that's very important is your dress. Now, <clears throat> we might, again, not, might not think that clothes matter and what we wear matters and all that stuff. It absolutely does. Go back to, again, my example of homeless people. If you are wearing some bummy ass clothes and you're walking out, you know, you wouldn't, you wouldn't, really think twice about someone, you know, coming up to you uh, if they're wearing a suit and said, hey, blah, 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 and they wanted to engage with you, you'd be like, oh, this guy is, or this woman, right, in a nice, like, dress or something, or just looks attractive, you're like, oh, this woman takes care of herself, who is this, like, you know, I want to see. It's important to pick a dress that complements your style and how you look, and what I would say is this, I think there's a real bad misconception out there that, you know, you got to wear, like, Louis Vuitton and Gucci, I think all that's bullshit. Because I've never worn designer clothes, and I don't mean to toot my own horn, but I know that I have impeccable style. I've always been extremely well-dressed. And what I would say is this. It's not the brand names you wear. It's not anything like this. It's one, again, first of all, making sure you take care of your body. Because if you take care of your body, whatever you put on is actually going to look good as long as it fits your body. So it's not about the brand names. It's more about how the clothes fit on your body. Now, the second part of it is picking your style and understanding what that represents to the world. Um, and again, this is what Kevin Samuels used to speak about. He's like, you don't want to be this 40-year-old guy in the club wearing Jordans. He's like, you look like a damn child. Like, you look like a boy. He's like, you're a grown man. Well, first of all, he's like, you go to 40, you go to clubs in your 40s, like, you're just the creepy old guy. It's not what it works. But anyways, if you go out at night, right, and you're going out with your friends, sure, you can wear some sneakers and casual and stuff, but you get my point. You wouldn't show up to, you know, a formal event wearing, you know, some sneakers or something like that. So you want to dress the part for whatever it is. Now, <clears throat> if you're just going out day to day, wear whatever the hell you want, right? It doesn't matter. But even then, you know, he'll argue, and I'll say it too, it, it does matter. Because again, who's to know if you go out on a Saturday and you put something nicer than normal on, who's to know what opportunities what people you're gonna meet, uh, what doors will open up just from you showing up that way. But what I would recommend is find clothes that fit. The fit is more important than anything. If you know you buy what everyone else buys, like the super nice designer stuff, but it doesn't fit or doesn't look good on you, it doesn't look good. You gotta find your own individual style. So be in shape, find clothes that fit well, and find your own individual style by messing with things that are, uh, you know, a little bit different. And if you're not comfortable with what clothes you should pick, well then go and ask somebody. Again, there's so much knowledge out there on men's style and fashion and there's image consultants, there's people that'll help you dress, there's coaches for everything these days and there are, these people are, the really good ones are really good at what they do and they can help you. So make sure you're in shape, show up as your best self, take care of yourself. The other part of it is, are you groomed? You know, do you have, uh, you know, some shaggy ass hair? Do you have an untrimmed, you know, beard all over the place? Or do you look well kept? Do you look clean? You know, again, the whole thing is, do you take care of yourself? And that's really what it's about. So why is this important? Well, again, we'd like to think that it doesn't matter, but it does. Why showing up as your best self is important in an external way is because what you look like on the outside and how you choose to represent yourself is really just the representation of how you feel and choose to show up on the inside if you really take care of yourself. So that's one thing that you want to do as far as thinking of showing up for yourself in the best way possible and being at your best. Now, the other part of it is this that I'll say, it really comes down to as far as being your best, you know, taking care of yourself in the context of do you eat right? <clears throat> do you get enough sleep? Are you rested? Do you know how to manage your stress? You know, when you show up to people, are you present or are you constantly riddled with anxiety or depression or whatever and you're in your head and you're thinking you can't really be present? You know, is your uh, professional life in order? Is your career in order? You know, is your money in order? Are your relationships in order? And of course, these are all things that fluctuate and you need to work on in different ways and in different areas, but it all matters. And that this is really what showing up and being at your best is like. 
And the only way, the, the way that we can get there is really by taking an honest inventory of ourselves of where we're currently at. I mean, I'm brutally honest with myself. I know what I need to work on. I know what I'm lacking in. I know what areas of my life I need. Uh, I need help in that I need coaches in. And I'm also very aware of the areas that I excel in and that I'm very, very good in. Um, and the cool thing is, and uh, I was listening to um, a gentleman uh, the other day. Gosh, who was I listening to? Anyways, he was talking about the spokes. Oh, oh, it was uh, Richard Cooper, um, the Unplugged Alpha. He's got a great YouTube channel, another channel for men called Entrepreneurs and Cars. I uh, highly recommend you check out his stuff. And he's he drew on a piece of paper um, a spoke or uh, a, a wheel, right? Like on the side of a car or like a bicycle. And the spokes that come out represent different areas of your life. And in order to really have that wheel, which represents you functioning well, the spokes have to come out evenly. You can't have, you know, you're way overdeveloped on your career and your finances, but then your social skills and your relationships uh, and your fitness down here suck because then you just got one lopsided ass wheel. So showing up as your best self is really having all these different spokes. And he has different, you know, things. He's got appearance. I think it's like frame. It's like money. I don't know. It's some other stuff. Um, actually, I need to, I don't think I was done watching that video. It's really good though. But um, that's what it's about. Showing up as your best self is having all of these things all in congruence with each other so that you're working at your best capacity and you're showing up as your best self. Uh, this is also known as, um, you know, you've heard of the psychologist or you may have not heard of the psychologist Abraham Maslow and he has something called the hierarchy of needs and Maslow's hierarchy of needs, you know, it starts with your physiological needs, you know, do I have enough food, a place to sleep, shelter, all these basic things, all the way to emotional needs, relationship needs, all these things that lead up into a pyramid and the top is self-actualization, which means you showing up as your best self. So that's all this is. It's uh, asking yourself the brutal and honest questions in order to assess accurately where you're at with these different areas of your life. And then from there, you're able to make adjustments. Is your health, is your body really where you want? When you take your shirt off, would you say, hell yeah, or you take your clothes off, you're in a swimsuit and a board shorts or a bikini or whatever you wear, and you go, god damn, man, I look good. Would the opposite sex look at you and go, god damn, who is that? If not, you know you need to work on your fitness. Is your money right? Uh, are you financially solvent? Do you have a plan? Do you have security? Are you comfortable in the financial situation? If you're not, then you've got to focus on the money aspect of it. How are your social skills? You know, are you able, do you feel comfortable going and talking up to strangers or do you feel really weird and like you're going to get rejected or have a tons of anxiety? Well, you need to understand, you know, we are social by nature and uh, Kevin Samuels talks about this is that uh, money making is a social activity. So is dating. So is everything else that we do. So if your social skills are not up to par, you don't feel comfortable having conversations or like you're an interesting person or like you have enough going on in your life. Well, great. You need to work on your social skills, you know, understand um, how basic interactions and chemistry works, whether it's just with friends or, you know, strangers or obviously with the opposite sex. If you're trying to get involved with women, man, women hate to be bored. So are you interesting? Do you got stuff going on in your life to where they're like, OK, shoot, man, I don't know. who is this guy? I want to get to know him. I'm curious. I'm interested. Right. You got to keep them on their toes because if they're bored, they're like, doesn't matter if you look good. You got a six pound legs. Guy's an idiot. Just a blockhead, I'm out, on board. <laughs> and um, the other part of it is, again, your relationships, your relationships in order. So all these different areas of your life that, you know, you know, do you have enough adventure in your life? You know, do you go out and um, have fun? Do you have a good bustling social life? Do you get invited to things? These are also areas of your life. Again, um, I'm very clear on uh, when I take the honest assessment of myself, and I'm like, damn, okay, this is where I'm lacking. And then what I've done is I've come up with just a very clear plan on how I'm going to address all of these issues and solve the problems so that I am fully functioning in the areas that I am lacking. Because the reality is we're all lacking in some areas and if sure none will, you know, it'll, it'll never end. It's, it's always this ongoing, uh, you know, pursuit of, of excellence and bettering yourself where it should be in order to create the life that you want. But you will, what I found, reach threshold levels where you'll have that at a good enough threshold to where you can work on this so you're not completely unbalanced. So 
When you have all these areas working, this is what showing up as your best self looks like. So take an honest inventory of what you're lacking. Um, take pride in your physical appearance, the way that you dress, the way that you present yourself. Um, obviously your physical appearance, your fitness, um, make sure that you are taking care of yourself internally. Are you sleeping and eating correctly so that you feel rested? Uh, are you good at managing your stress so that you're present, you're relaxed, you can clearly communicate? Do you have good social skills? You know, are you able to network and meet other people, new business contacts? Um, you know, are you good with the opposite sex? Do you know how to, you know, communicate and develop a relationship, connection, attraction with that? Do you, you know, have your money in a good place? Is your career in a good place? Are you in a place of purpose? Are you focused on what you need to be doing in life so you have something that you're working towards? These are all different things to look at in your life and they all freaking matter. So when you put all these together, boom, you get this beautiful self-actualized pyramid or this nice well-rounded wheel as Richard Cooper puts it. So that's what showing up as your best self is about and why it is important and we all need to do it. So take what you will from that video and I hope it was helpful. Take an honest assessment of your life and you gotta do the work, you gotta put work in, into yourself and sometimes it's, it is painful a lot of the time because man, like they say, the truth hurts when you look at yourself and go, shit man, I'm really lacking at these. But until you let it hit your heart and hurt, you won't change anything. So you gotta be brutally honest about uh, your life and what parts of your life are not working so that you can improve the parts of your life that you need to in order to live the way that you want to live and be the person who you want and are meant to be. So I appreciate you, I love and respect you. Let me know if you have any questions, please like, subscribe, leave any comments, and we'll see you in the next video. Peace.